how do you feel your, your adding to the secondary? How has that affected everything? Well, other than the disguising and all that stuff in the secondary, the coverage, most of the part, is the same. I mean, you know, uh, whether you're in the 425 or the 43, it becomes the same as far as how you call and do things. Uh, with the router, out of the 3 4, you're balanced on both sides. But in the secondary, it's it's the same. Now, as far as defenses, whether you're the 4 3, the 4 2 5, or whether you're the 3 4, you know, whether you're a 6 2. It depends on getting the right guy in here, making the calls, that understands his defense to where he can explain it to the coaches so the coaches can explain it to the kids to where they can explain it, and that's how you become a great defensive uh, team. Talk about working under Tim DeRue. How, how's that been? What's his strengths? What's his weaknesses? Tell us a little bit about working or anything. I don't know if he has any weaknesses. I won't say anything. I love Tim, and actually I had an opportunity to work with Tim at the Naval Academy before, and so I know him. And so and I think he's a great guy, and I think he's a, a smart guy. His package has developed way more. Uh, he's Like he told me and me and him, we have become – better coaches throughout our years as far as coaching, you know, and, uh, but he's a great guy. I don't think, uh, I know he has some weaknesses and I don't, other than him smiling all the time. Uh, he's a great guy in the defense that he runs. He's a great defense. Coach, Coach it seems like that uh, you really built up some depth at the cornerback uh, since the spring, or at least it looks that way. Anyway, could, could you just briefly kind of handicap what's, what's going on with the competition there? Well, that's great competition. The one thing about Coriel Judy in the spring, he came in off the shoulder and, you know, about 15 pounds heavy. So he didn't look, you know, that great in the spring. Uh, Dave Kennedy, our strength coach, done a great job this summer getting him into shape. And right now he is competing for Dustin's uh, starting job or even Terrence Frederick's starting job. I mean, right now we don't go into a season saying guys having starting positions, okay? We're going to play with the best and the best to help us win. What about uh, Tony Hurd? Can you talk about his progression a little bit? Well, Tony Hurd started off at corner, you know, uh, you know, kind of behind the boat because of, you know, uh, as far as the depth that you had mentioned beforehand. Uh, by some of the injuries that we did have as far as at the safety position, you know, we decided to move him to safety. And, uh, this, you know, by him being fourth in his class as far as in the high school, you know, that shows you, you know, he's pretty smart and he has picked up a safety position right now working at safety within – 12 hours, I would say. So, uh, and he looks good being a safety. So, uh, you know, uh, it's not what you want, but sometimes you got to get guys that just can play at that, you know, just can play anywhere. Okay. I was going to ask you about uh, Lionel Smith. It seemed like his first couple of years on the team, he kind of bounced around from position to position. Yeah. But it seemed like he really kind of found his way here in the spring. Can you talk about Lionel? He found his way actually in the spring. Uh, you know, he was our special teams player of the year last year. And right before the spring, he came to me and said, Coach, you know, he says, I just want to be known as a special team player. And, you know, with the injury of uh, T. Fred having, you know, uh, surgery, you know, in spring gave him an opportunity to step up and show what he could do. And actually, uh, he made a major improvement in the spring. And right now, he has been struggling with hamstrings and growing, so he doesn't look as great. But the key thing is he knows the defense and this and that. And when he is healthy, you can uh, see that he can play. Uh, what's the key for a young guy like Hurd uh, trying to cover, you know, a big-time player like Jeff Fuller in practice? Physical. To be physical. I mean, uh, and the key thing is when you're that short of a corner, uh, you got to have great ball skills. You got to have a, a great vertical as far as going up to compete for the football. Um, you know, it's like, you know, just earlier in this practice, I mean, when we're going seven on seven, there's a whole lot of deep balls thrown. You know, we needed that today because of the fact we've just been running with receivers. And the key thing is exactly what Coach Sherman just said. You know, we worked on the driller after practice, you know, as far as to be aggressive. When you got a big receiver and you're running down the field vertical, vertical, you want to be as aggressive as possible with him to force him out of bounds. This is not the NFL, like I tell him, you know, where, you know, you can't do anything after five yards. So if I'm in a good control position, I want to try to break his ribs or do whatever I got to do to force him out of bounds. So can uh, you guard, still guard Walters? Who's going to win that battle? Uh, can I? Well, I tell you what. If you let me work out for two weeks to get back flexible, you know, uh, Coach Walters, I will D him up. I got video on, on uh, okay. Nate Askew on Jeff Fuller alone out here in practice where I D them up. So Troy, I mean, he's just another, another body. Just that answer. Yeah, okay. he's just another body.